Tragedy, Big Stock Red, Biggest. Business, huh? How many of you got up? Boot the elbow.
Thank you. 
You like me? Listen, I just got a swell idea. I'm all alone down here, and uh, you're all alone up there. At least I hope you are. <laughs> so what? Uh, who cares what time it is, my turtle dog? I think of you, and time stands still. Your face alone could stop the clock. Hello? Must be on a way down. Relax, Doc. We're pals. 
then where are you going? I got a wedding to bust up. You can't go out like this. The captain thinks you're Snake Eyes Johnson. You're right. I need some kind of disguise. Yeah, like a gorilla suit for a set of um. Or a sailor suit. You want a sailor suit? No problem. <laughs> Thanks. 
Company Building, New York City. Dear Crocker, what a confirmation of amalgamated sales at once. Got that? Mm -hmm. Better have to read it back.
mean, sit on third class. Three tries away, will you? Yes, sir, and I'll step on it. Step on it? Makes no sense at all. Come in. I say, you gang saw fast. Just put it down on the bed, will you? I really wanted it before I started to dress. I hope it's really hot. Well, nobody's complained yet. Dear me! <laughs> I thought it was the man with my tea. What were you going to do if it was cold? Cut off his head? Oh, you mean I nice fell <laughs> Oh, the man with head. On the hot box must be the for the bed. You know what's up? The old beast is as taken with things English as I am with things American. Well, I'm glad you feel that way, because this American certainly feels gaga about you. Gaga? Well, I'm not sure I follow. Does this make it any clearer? Class! To feel gaga about a person means to rub his neck. <laughs>
crossing? Oh, my God. 
hope it's all worth it. But then something like this happens. You're all beautiful.
shot, I hounded her. I embarrassed her. And I made her cry. Oh, I'm sorry. I want you to be happy. I'll never bother you again. <laughs>
by Lord Evening Elderly, a lonely figure walks the deck. The moonlight glancing off his beam. Tis not the ship, tis he the wreck. His heart's been dashed on a girl named Ringo. Sweetie! I say, you startled me. Sorry, I couldn't sleep. Nor I. The Lord works in mysterious ways, Evie, but this time he's got even me stunned. My two best friends are on the slammer, and tomorrow morning... But hey, you know all about that. Here's to the groom. Miss Sweeney, you see before you a man staggered by revelation. It hit me like a stone hammer in the middle of your service. You see, the woman I am destined to marry tomorrow is not one and the same with the woman that I love. You mean you're not alone, Paul? Well, that's great! Uh, I mean, it's great that you found out in time and everything. Ah, there's the rub. You know the only family motto? No scum, Puglion, Santoro. What does that mean? Well, no one really knows. <laughs> well, we're not supposed to be backing out of engagements. Ah, oh, well, I'll do it, Miss Sweeney. You know, there's one thing that I just can't figure. That business in Russia with the girl, Anastasia, what does that have to do with? No strong, boogie Whatever. Oh, this is most embarrassing. Must I explain? Miss Sweeney, I've never told this to anyone before. It's the only family secret. There's something dark and savage in our love. In mine, especially. You see. Long, long ago. So long ago, I hardly know when. My great, great grandmother, now and then, stepped up with a gypsy. No, no.
this you can't. No. Is this you can't. No. Don't get into any major steps. Hey, what's going on here? Don't worry, they'll only be in here for an hour. They cleaned out third class plenty crap, so people are pretty hot about it. Hey, what about us? What time do we get out of here? <laughs> You know your problem, kid. You ain't got no philosophy. There's an old Australian bush song that I know that's not about. Uh, what time is it? Uh, about half past. Half past what? I don't know. It's really dark over there. <laughs> Why well, starts at nine? We gotta get out of here.
Moscow affairs. You chose her that road. I'm about to be mad. No. No can marriage. No can marriage. No can marriage. Why no can marriage? I mean, why can't he be married? Listen, I explain. I have always been to this Anton Chekhov, father of Anastasia. And who is Anastasia? Yes, uh, who is this Anastasia? This is Anastasia. <laughs> Thank you. 